will have to wait probably a month or two to see a specialist because the family doctor is not allowed to treat you beyond what the government already they're all restricted yeah and my mom she said well i'm i don't feel like a doctor anymore i feel more kind of like i'm some sort of a bureaucrat because i spent a lot of papers papers a lot of time on papers so it, it's not gonna be quality health care not to mention that they let older people like in their late 60s 70s mm -hmm. die they don't take care of that in the hospitals well they can't there's a protocol that doesn't allow them exactly. that's what i was talking about earlier the protocol all of a sudden you can't get the medication for your mom unless you can pay for it on the black market and that's what's happening in these countries yeah do you know what we have a whole new tourist industry now it's called medical tourism you want a medical procedure you can't get here you fly to India or Indonesia to get or Mexico up. or wherever. Or Bulgaria. And, yeah. Bulgaria. You might um, and you know what? It, I don't think it's that bad here because uh, we had, when my mom came the very first time here, she had DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis, and it could be life threatening. So uh, we had her in the ER, and actually yeah. they gave us 45% discount for uh, paying cash for her. Well, black market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is exactly what Chris is saying. I like being able to pay the cop 20 bucks. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I can't really argue with that because people get bills now where if they used water or, you know, anything, it's marked up like 500%. I agree, but no, I, I don't all. think that's the problem. The problem is not the insurance companies. Isn't that another subject called defensive medicine? The lots of regulations of the American Medical Associations, FDA, uh, just regulations, that's what drives price. Only 30% belong to the AMA anymore. And the regulations in defensive medicine are incredible, and they're based on what? The other subject that nobody will talk tort. about? Tort reform. These doctors are paying ridiculous sums for, for malpractice insurance. Oh, yeah. I have a niece who is an OBGYN who pays $210,000 a year for her insurance. Oh. For malpractice insurance mm -hmm. alone? Yes. And she's never had a claim. But she has a 1,000 patients. She has to practice defensive medicine. Well, insurance, you know, I watch a lot of Westerns. A lot of Westerns? A lot of Westerns. And, and back in the old days, insurance was, okay, you pay me and I won't burn down your house. <laughs> That's called a, a, a protection racket. <laughs> That's, what That's how it looks was. Like. <laughs> That's what it all looks like to me. Well, no, now the insurance is, I'll pay you, somebody burns down your house, I won't pay you. <laughs> because it was arson, or an act of God, or some sort. Listen to the old man. Listen to the old man. Listen to the old man. When you can.